Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, with a comment from one of our viewers who goes by the name of Yahweh is my Elohim. Now I'm going to read their comment. Yeah, this comment was very gripping to me. And I want you to hear what they have to say to the body of Christ. You hear me? Okay, listen to this. Unimaginable tribulation. My dreams torment me. I see a massive amount of shootings and blood scattered in our streets. In my dream, the people are truly evil. I see myself having to shoot them. I've been so tormented this week. No sleep and lots of prayer and repentance is what I've been doing. I feel like he is speaking to me in my dreams. I've been knuckling down. I've guns, preps, etc. But the most important, powerful weapon I've got is Elohim, my king. And he's shouting to his bride. Not many are listening to him. The fruit is ripe and must be picked accordingly. I can smell the gunpowder. There's always a teen boy shooting his mother in her face in my dream. And he goes outside and blows his own head off in the middle of the street. The dream flashes and there is a voice that says, open the second seal. Then I see people going berserk and killing each other. It's so vivid. Now, this is Pat's two cents. That's the end of his dream. We need to really, really pray because I can already tell Satan's going to be revving up his demons of suicide, his demons of violence and murder. And we need to take authority over that. If you could go to the store and buy a can of raid to kill ants that are crawling into your house, you can pray to God and use the name of Jesus to get rid of a bunch of demons from making people destroy each other and destroy themselves. A lot of people are driven by demons and they don't know it. But we have the name of Jesus. It is, I mean, there is authority in his name if you want to call him uh, Yeshua, uh, Messiah. The bottom line is there is power in the name of Jesus. I have been protected. I have stopped dogs from attacking me by hollering, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I have a relative that was going to commit suicide and I rebuked the spirit of suicide when I saw the demon looking at me. And that person is still was still alive for the next 30 years because God intervened. And when they told me what happened to them, I knew. God had saved their life. Do you hear what I'm saying? So we have to intervene. We have to uh, intercede in prayer and pray to God. we we'll send angels to intervene and, and, and stop this madness because Satan has come to kill, steal, and destroy. Okay? Jesus came that we might have life and that more abundantly. So we are to live, not die. The word of God says, I shall not die, but live. To declare the works of the Lord. Live by all means. Okay? Don't let the devil play the okie doke on you. Don't let the devil uh, pull the wool over your eyes and make you feel like there is no hope. It's all despair. There's nothing to live for. I mean, I'm telling you, he can rev those emotions up and you really think that's the way you feel. But that comes straight from the pit of hell. It's not even your emotions. You're being manipulated. You hear me? Manipulated to death. Be warned. Don't go for it. Don't play into the devil's hand. 
You hear me? Okay, that's your warning. And all the rest of us pray against the spirits of violence, murder, and suicide. Bind those spirits in the name of Jesus. God bless you.